With most produce traveling up to 2,500 miles to get to the dinner table, today's conscious consumers are asking themselves, is it possible to eat locally grown food? Jim Slama, founder of Family Farmed, a nonprofit dedicated to building local food systems, and the producer of the annual Family Farmed and Good Food Festival conferences, is working hard to answer that question. I started Family Farm because I have a passion for sustainable local food. This event's been going on in Chicago really for quite a while. Our goal here is to build local food systems. So we bring farmers and food artisans and nonprofits and other stakeholders in the sustainable and local food movement together uh, in one room and let them do some business. It's a really fun thing. There's a lot of reasons they have a local food system. First of all, it's environmentally responsible. Uh, number two, high quality food grown in ways that matches your values. To be able to match those values with who you are as a person, looking at that farmer or that artisan food producer in the eye, knowing the way that they produce it is a great thing. Uh, creates jobs, economic development, builds a regional economy. Now we've got thousands of people coming to connect with each other and do more business and have fun and learn about preserving food or learning about being of you know expanding your vegetarianism or learning how to consume meat more consciously uh, over here we've got chefs some of the leading chefs in chicago are doing cooking demos and uh two chefs paired with a farmer they tell their stories prepare food share it with the people in the audience i'm here because we support uh, local farms as much as we can we like to go to all the farms that we use the products from and make sure that the vegetables are being, being raised properly, just sort of learn where our food comes from. I think it's really important to use local produce. One, it tastes better. Um, it came from maybe two hours away at the most. Uh, two, you're supporting uh, the local economy and people in your local community. And also, it's just uh, better for the environment, not having things shipped all the way across the country. I think the biggest advantage by sourcing local at the restaurant is that we've actually seen where the vegetables are grown and we can actually talk to farmers and have them plant certain vegetables for us. Um, we can have them raise certain animals for us, so you have a lot of control over the, the products that you're serving. Over the course of three days we've got 170 speakers, which is a really great gathering of people. Wide variety of topics. We had a financing conference where we had 20 farms and food businesses looking for capital. Yesterday's trade show, we had some of the biggest distributors in America working with thousands of acres of farmers. How do we build more efficient systems? How do we get that food to market from the farm efficiently, perfectly packed with great food safety standards and at a price that everybody can afford and the farmers making money? Well, as a farmer, I love meeting people. Um, and people want to meet the farmer. They want to know where their food comes from. And when I can tell them stories about my farm or stories about experiences I've had on my farm or explain to them how plants grow. Like, uh, I've had several instances today where I explained to a person how corn is pollinated. They had no idea how, and that pollen is actually a living organism. And, and when they get that education, they look at their food in a completely different way. It's a very unique strain of popcorn. It's an heirloom. It dates back to the 1860s, and it had been in this family for three generations. Several things about it that are unique, when it pops, it cooks the hulls, so you do not get any of the old maids or the uh, hulls in your teeth. And the second thing is, it's what they call sterile dent. It will not accept pollen from other corns, so you don't run the risk of the GMO, GMO contamination. And then your smaller popcorns have way better flavor. They bred popcorn to be larger, to fill the box, but the taste is not there. So it's about taste, it's about quality, and it's about preserving an heirloom seed. Uh, it's getting more and more difficult for farmer plant breeders or small companies to get plant material to breed corn. And now Monsanto just purchased the, probably the largest vegetable seed producer in California, and they now control about 60% of all the vegetable seed. The whole art of seed breeding now has been concentrated down into big companies. And if you look at it, it's very scary. If you control the seed, you control the food. The consumer has more power than he understands. And how you buy your food and what you do is directly gonna be related to helping the farmers, helping the environment, cleaning up the water, and making it change the way our local food policy works.